So, do naman tayo sa subsets of a line. So, we have here line AB. So, the first subset is line segment. So, pag sinabi natin subset, parte siya nung line. So, the first one is line segment. It is a subset of a line consisting of two endpoints and all the points in between. So, kung may nakita tayong two endpoints, yun po yung line segment. So, example, we have here segment AB or line segment AB. So, galing po siya dito sa line na to. May two arrowheads. Pero kunin lang po natin yung dalawang may endpoint. Ayan po. So, point A. Ito po point B. So, this is segment AB. So, in symbol, this is... Ayan. So, AB po. Tapos, sulit lang po ng line sa taas. Wala pong arrowhead. Kasi, pag may arrowhead po, line po yun. Pag wala naman pong arrowhead, yun po ay line segment or segment. And, yung segment AB... Ito po natin siya babasahin. Segment or line segment AB. Yan. So, ito po yung symbol. And ito naman po yung how to read the segment AB. Segment AB. So, for example, we have this line AD. So, paano po natin manalaman kung ilan po yung line segments po na meron po dito sa line na to. So, gagawin po tayo ng formula. So, the number of line segments is equal to n multiplied with the binomial n minus 1 divided by 2. Wherein n is the number of points. So, here, so the solution, so n is number of points. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 points. So, n is equal to 4. So, using the formula, n times n minus 1 over 2 equal to n po i4. So, substitute po natin times n is 4, then minus 1 divided by 2. So, 4 times 4 minus 1 is 3, and then divided by 2. So, here we can cancel 4 and 2. So, divided by 2. 2 na lang po, divided by 2, 1 na lang. So, magiging 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So, ibig sabihin po, we have 6 segments for line AD. So, let's have the second one. Subset is ray. So, ray is a subset of a line with only one endpoint and extends infinitely in only one direction. So, for example, kuha po tayo ng ray dito po sa line AB. So, we have, sabi dyan, with only one endpoint. So, kunin muna natin yung A as endpoint. And then, extends infinitely in only one direction. So, papunta po doon. From A, papunta po doon. So, this is AB. So, in symbol, gawa lang po tayo ng arrow na upunta sa kanan, and then yan, AB. So, it is being read as ray AB. So, isa pa pong example is yung B naman po yung endpoint natin. So, kunin natin sa taas. So, this is B, and then pupunta ng A. Yan. So, ito po yung unang ray. Ito naman po yung pangalawang ray. A, B, and then B, A. So, so, this is ray B, A. And then, it is being read as ray B, A. Okay, so, tandaan po natin. This is ray B, A. Papunta po ng kaliwa, it extends infinity to the left. Pero, ang symbol pa rin po for ray is an arrow to the right. So, kahit saan pa siya pupunta, pababa, pataas, or paslant yung ray. Lagi pong symbol po niya is arrow na pupunta sa kanan. So, tandaan po natin, si ray AB is different from ray BA. Bakit? Kasi si ray AB is from A, pupunta po ng 
kanan. And then, si BA naman is from B. Papunta naman po ng kaliwa. So, magkaiba po yung ray na yan. Huwag po natin siya na ipag-mix. So, given yung line AD, alamin natin kung ilang rays ba yung meron sa line AD na yan. Pag line po, ang reference natin, like this one, line AD, ito po yung formula na gagamitin natin. So, number of rays is equal to 2 times n minus 1. Wherein n is the number of points. So, sa example natin, is n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 4 points. So, using the formula, number of rays is equal to 2 times n minus 1. So, that will be 2 multiplied to n, which is 4, and then minus 1. So, that will be 2 times 3. So, that will be 2 times 3 is 6. So, we have 6 rays for line AD. So, dito naman tayo. Paano naman kapag ray naman yung given? So, we have here ray AD. So, how many rays are there in ray AD? So, kung ang reference natin is ray, ito naman po yung formula ng gagamitin natin. So, number of rays is equal to n minus 1, wherein n is a number of points. So, here, n is equal to 4. So, using the formula, and finding the rays, so, n minus 1. Wherein n is 4, 4 minus 1, the answer is 3. So, there are 3 rays. Ano-ano yun? So, ray AD, ray BD, and then ray CD. So, yung po yung tatlong ray sa ray AD. So, mayroon din po tayong tinatawag na opposite rays. Opposite rays are rays with common endpoint but extend in opposite directions. So, common daw po yung endpoint. So, for example, we have ray BC and ray BA. So, they do have the same endpoint, which is B, but they extend in opposite directions. Si BC, nag extend siya sa kanan, and then si BA naman ay sa kaliwa. So, therefore, BC or Ray BC and Ray BA are opposite rays. Basta tandaan lang natin, pareha sila ng endpoint, pero nag-extend sila sa magkaibang direction, opposite directions. DBT, name all the lines, line segments, rays, and opposite rays sa figure na ito. So, lines muna tayo. We have AD, and then EG. What else? We have CF or FC. Yeah, basta kahit mabaligtad, okay lang yun kasi line lang naman yan. So, CF. Pwede rin FC, pwede rin BC, and so on. Let's have the line segments. Let's start sa taas muna. So, we have B, A, and then B, D, And then, segment BC. 
And then sa baba naman, we have segment EF. And then segment FG. And then EG. We also have AD, tas pala. And then, ito naman po. So, we have BC, okay na pala. BF. BF. Segment BF. And then, FC or CF. So, we have how many line segments? 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then, let's have opposite rays. Okay, line EG naman. So, then we have ray FE and ray FG. Last one will be ray BC. So, yan po yung lines, line segments, rays, and opposite rays.